In this video, we are going to demonstrate Lemaire's jolt test for anteromedial rotatory instability of the knee. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Lemaire described this test in 1967 as a great test to confirm ruptures of the anterior cruciate ligament in the anesthetized patient. However, he noted that it's hard to elicit anterolateral rotatory instability in the awake patient as patients can't fully relax. Furthermore, this test hasn't been assessed on its diagnostic ability, so the clinical value is questionable. To conduct the test, the patient lies in supine position Standing on the side to be examined, the leg is in extension and brought into internal rotation by one hand that's grasping the ankle. The dorsum of the other hand is placed behind the head of the fibula and tendon of the biceps femoris in order to apply a ventrally directed force. The patient is asked to relax completely. The knee is then gently flexed and extended repeatedly and the examiner observes for anteromedial subluxation of the tibia. In a second step, the flexion angle is increased, which will result in jolting backwards of the tibia, indicating a positive test. All right, we know that there are a ton of tests and one may lose oversight on which ones have good diagnostic abilities and which don't. Therefore, we reference research wherever possible. To have a good overview on this growing collection of tests, we recommend you check out our assessment ebook or mobile app for Android and iOS. Links are in the video description. If you want to dive deeper into several pathologies, check out our online course. It's the first link in the video description right below the like button. So thanks for watching. This was Andreas. I'll see you in another video. Bye.